in our work for Angel Labs. In this demo, we are going to create a load balancer distributing the traffic between two Nginx containers. Let's first create those containers. In the first one, web one image, we're going to use Nginx. Second one is web two. I'm going to use a different version for this, different image version for this container, just so we can distinguish between these two when it comes to testing our load balancer. As the containers are coming up, on the navigation bar, pick the balancing, balancers, and here is a place where you can see all the existing load balancers in your system, and from here you can add a new one. Let's say the web application. Here for the description you can put whatever you want. For the host, you have to pre-select the existing host. That host is going to act as an entry point for the incoming traffic. And that's also the host where Rancher stars the system container is responsible for the load balancer. In the target section, adding the containers that we've just created. And those are the containers the traffic is going to be balanced across. In the configuration section, we have to create a listening port. The source port is the public port opened on your host for the incoming traffic. And the target port is the port on our Nginx containers. The protocol we use HTTP. The algorithm, let's leave it as a round robin. There are a couple other th settings that we can configure here. One of them, the health check. It uh, monitors the health of the, our backend targets. And if any of them happens to go down, it's going to be excluded from the load balancer list. So your user will never be forwarded to the problematic host. Once the target is backing up again, it's going to be included to the list. In the stickiness section, you can create a stickiness policy for the load balancer session. Let's say you want to limit the user to the one particular backend target as a part of the browser session. You can do it by creating the stickiness policy. For our test, Let's leave it as none. Now everything is configured. We can click Create. So our web application load balancer is coming up. Here you can see you can add more targets to your load balancer if you feel like your application is under load and you need more. You can also edit and delete the load balancer. And if you click on the load balancer name, you're going to be brought to the details page. From here you can see all the hosts that you've added to your load balancer, as well as the targets, and the configuration, the listener's health check and stickiness. If you feel that you no longer need this listener for the port 80, or you want to add more listeners to your load balancer, you can edit the configuration here. You can remove the listener, you can add the listener, you can configure the health check. It's not going to result in any downtime for, for your users. Everything is going to be configured on the fly. Now let's test our load balancer. First let's get the boot to docker IP address. And that's my host. And you remember that the source port was 100. Here you go, you've been for the server one. Now let's refresh. Now it's server two. Now it's server one again, so our round robin algorithm works just fine. That's all I wanted to show you. Hope you find this feature useful. Bye.